This is my last can. For me, um, ah, for me, Naruto's, I don't know, I, I've been going through a bit of a rough time for about two years now, um, in around the, the beginning of 2018, about halfway through, I really... I just, I heard about Boruto starting up, and, you know, I saw the pictures, and, oh, so I heard about Boruto coming out in early 2018, and it really just, like, I, just seeing, he's seeing his kid, like, his son, really got to me for some reason. I was like, wait naruto's like naruto had a kid naruto's still a thing because i watched it when i was in like middle school or high school i saw the tuning exams like as they happened live and it was fucking it was some of the coolest stuff i'd ever seen at the time still but like i just i'd fallen off of it like everyone else and then i finally heard about it all these years later like as a as like a junior in college all the way to now and i was like they're still fucking making naruto like hit i saw him as like the hokage and i was like fuck dude it's been a it's been a fucking minute naruto since i've seen you and you know it really it it helped me um sort of go back to who I was before this whole thing started um, and the things that I liked to do and Naruto was one of those I I played the I had the video game on like PS2 I think it was Ninja Ultimate Ninja one of those but I played the shit out of that I liked uh, Dragon Ball back then I played Budokai on PS2 and it was great. I was super good at it. I kicked that computer's ass. Um, I had, I didn't have anyone to play with, so I just I beat the computer like over and over and over. Um, yeah, but Naruto. What what really gets me about Naruto is like it somehow feels grounded to me. Like, it it's really just you know he starts out as this dumb fucking kid, who masters the shadow clone jutsu right and it just that's like his one move that he can do he can just make more of himself which is really like it 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 serves him well for like the rest of his life that one technique and he's also just got this like he just doesn't fucking quit and that's in a lot of shonen anime that's the thing but like back then i'd never seen that before he just doesn't fucking quit this guy and everyone tells him he's a piece of shit like everyone in the village hates him because he's got the the nine tails in him and he just doesn't fucking care dude he doesn't give a shit he's like fuck you guys i'm gonna be great i'm <laughs> fuck all of you you know and like that really got me when i was a kid and i was seeing him with his team and like the the combat was super cool to me just like the the elemental stuff like fire style and the byakugan i saw i saw neji and hinata fight for the first time when i was a kid and just seeing like the way they traded blows was so crazy to me cuz like i don't know it looked so advanced you know and i was like i this is i knew at the time like i don't know what's going on i was like this is this kind of combat is way over my head and so but yeah i i got back into it in like 2018 i i don't even think i I'd, I'd seen the end of the original series i knew what happened at least sasuke left the village basically and um they were both on two different paths him and naruto 
and they've got the whole best friend thing, you know, <clears throat> but still like at odds or whatever. But, and I remember like I got back into Shippuden, I saw it on there and I was like, fuck dude, Shippuden, I'd heard about it. I'd heard about it, and um, I looked online to try and find a website that had it. Hulu had too many fucking ads to count, and, you know, I, I didn't, I, I watched it on there for a bit, but, you know, no thanks. But I found an actual website that's got all of them, and I remember seeing, like, 500 episodes on there. And I was like, five fucking hundred, holy shit, what the, what do they do all this time? Like, have they just been doing it to now? Like, once a week? And, yeah, they were, like, this whole fucking time to me. And, like, you know, I got into Shippuden, I was just cranking down the videos, I saw Jiraiya die, Tachi, everyone, dude, the death of the Akatsuki, all that stuff. And finally, and it only took like six months, but the fucking, the dub, I watched dub and the, the fucking dub wasn't finished yet. They still hadn't finished it. Like they had like, they had like 50 episodes left, which really isn't, that's, that's like 10% of the show, but it was like the most important part. Like the ending was in that last 50 episodes and they didn't fucking have it. And and I wanted to stay in dub. I'd never watched the sub of it before. I was like, I can't. I don't want to do that. I watched it. They played the dub when I was a kid on Cartoon Network. So I was like, I, I want to keep the same voices. So I'll just stick with dub. And I just waited. And I waited and waited and waited. And then I finally cracked. And I, and I went back and I would watch like filler. Like the filler stuff that I'd skipped before. Like good storylines. But... They just didn't have the fucking dub, so I got tired of waiting, and I just tried it in sub, because my friends were like, yeah, just do the fucking sub, dude, it's the, you know, it's the original way, and I was like, yeah, fine, I guess, I want to see what happens, so, um, I switched to the sub, and I didn't even notice it at first. It was weird, but, like, it didn't, like, throw me off too much, but... They just now finished the dub, by the way. They have all 500 episodes as of, like, a week ago. And, like, you know, that show ended in 2017. Like, Shippuden ended 2017. That's when Boruto came around. And, like, it took them all this fucking time. Because they're making Boruto at the same time. <clears throat> so, I don't know, it was just fucking dumb. That was poorly done on their part, but, you know. Shippuden was great. It really, like, I saw all, it felt like I was seeing my old friends again. Like, picking up Naruto after all this time. It's like, uh, like, uh, in, like, 2013, 2012, I was watching a lot of PewDiePie in, like, high school. And, you know, that was when he was getting big. He was playing, like, Happy Wheels every day. And then, like, horror shit. And I really got in on the last of us and that's what like that's what solidified pewdiepie for me as like okay this guy is good as fuck like he's he's real he's a cool dude and he's gonna be around for a while you know and then i just i fell off in 2014 his videos started getting lower quality he was just playing games for six minutes and that's all you had to do back then to to make millions and um, I just fell on because like, ah, games are fucking boring now. But he switched and he, he just kept going. He didn't fucking quit. And now he does his own shit. And I found him again in 2016, which was like three years later. And I was like, he's still fucking around. PewDiePie's still around, dude. I was like, holy shit. And he's still today. He's still fucking killing it, you know? It's really helped me a lot to see... To get back into that world. Because there's so much shit in Naruto. Like there's. There's 800 episodes total. Roughly. If you count like. The original series Naruto. Shippuden. And then. Um, Boruto his son. Plus movies. 
plus the actual manga plus like other shit you know little stories that they write and all that in like barnes and noble but like there's so much fucking content dude it's insane to me so there's you know when my life fucking sucks i can just be like hey what's naruto up to <laughs> let's let's check in on that guy you know like hey i hope you have some good news you know yeah it really it's helped me a ton naruto and it's always you know shown in anime is really like uh it's very positive for the most part like you know the bad shit still happens but they always you know it's like sailor moon they win with like friendship and like working together you know and all this shit and when you're a kid you're like Fuck yeah dude that's yeah that's the way and then like when you grow up you're sort of like yeah 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 i can see that <laughs> you know like it it's sort of it's lessened a bit but you still want to hold on to that you know because deep down you want to you want to keep that alive in you that's sort of like everything's going to be all right and you know seeing him go from a dumb fucking kid to the fucking seventh hokage and like mastering sage mode <coughs> ah, the nine tails and all this shit it really like you know I know it's not possible, but it's certainly, it'll help lift you up, you know, because you're like, this dumb, this dumb kid can do it. You know, I saw him get his ass beat by Kakashi, like in the second episode. You and me, right now, fair and square. Let's go. Hmm? You know, compared to the others, you're a little bit weird. Oh yeah, the only thing weird here is your haircut. And then he's like taking on the goddess of all chakra and like Madara Uchiha and all these guys without like breaking a sweat. And I'm like, wow, holy shit. And this guy like just from like working hard, dude. And like he had some, he had a lot of shit going for him too in the beginning. Like he had a demon fox inside of him, which was a ton of power. And, like, an Uzumaki and, like, all this other shit. But he had to work for it still, you know. Even with his gifts. Like, the Ninetales could have easily overtaken him. Um, if there weren't any, like, other people around or whatever. Or if he let, if he let it get the best of him, which he almost does. He still, he just works his ass off. And he just doesn't fucking quit. And that's all you need. And everything else falls into place. So, yeah, it's been a it's been a great thing for me, Naruto. So, I guess I just wanted to tell you guys about that. So, this is delicious, by the way. Pineapple chunks at Walmart. I mean, at the grocery store. You drink the juice. And you eat the pineapples. So it's a drink and a snack. And if you cut yourself on the lid from drinking it, then you had it coming. So, alright guys, I'll see you later.